Today we're doing Pillsbury pumpkin cookies with cream cheese flavored chips. I'm Greg and he's cute. Together with Mr. Happy 0121. And today we bring you what we hope will be the last pumpkin flavored review on this channel. What he hopes. This I love year. pumpkin. Yeah. Well, yeah. I hope. <laughs> we're going to throw these in the oven for how long? A mystery. It's a mystery. 20 minutes. 350. 14, 18 minutes. That's kind of vague. <laughs> We're going to go throw these in the oven at 350 degrees for 14 to 18 minutes. A pretty big bullseye there for the cookies. At 14 minutes, they may just be undercooked, and at 18, they may be burnt. They look like Elvis's face. Elvis's face, referring to yesterday's video. Elvis's face at the 102 mark. It was like this. Just, oh. just like that. Hold on. There we go. Yeah. Poor Elvis. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back. Here's what they look like when they come out of the oven. They actually held together better than most of these kind of cookies that come out of the oven. All in one piece and everything. Are you ready to break into these cookies? I sure am. Well, then let's break into them. They smell great. <laughs> they do smell good. I don't see the cream cheese chips we were promised, but we'll see if they're in there. Right now. <laughs> this one's pretty simple to grade. Um, I'm going to give it an A-. I didn't really get the cream cheese uh, portion. I did see the chips in there. I just didn't get the flavor they promised. This is one of the better tasting pumpkin products we've had this year. You get the pumpkin taste, but it's not overwhelming. It's not like disgustingly pumpkin. It's almost a hint of pumpkin. I'm just going to give it a B-. minus. It was all right. What didn't you like? Nothing really stood out. It was just kind of like just pumpkin. Was it the hint of pumpkin too light for you? Was there not enough flavor there? Uh, no, I didn't really get much of the, uh, the cream cheese. I didn't either. Let's, let's play America's favorite game now. Are What's you that? ready to improve this cookie? Oh, yes I am. Time for the bacon syrup. Let's see if the bacon syrup will improve the cookie. Oh, wait, we're both going to do this? All right. You did it with the Doritos. Why wouldn't you do it now? You're like, I'll put it on Doritos, but I draw the line. <laughs> it's syrup on a cookie. Let's go. Here we go. I'll do the bigger portion just for you. Just for me. Yeah, just for you. Here we go. Bacon syrup on the cookie. See if it improves it. This actually improved the Doritos. God, that's messy. It's getting all over my hands. Just do it. Makes it worse. What do you give it? A D. It tastes like batteries, man. I gotta say that was all in his head. He went in thinking it was gonna be bad, therefore it was bad. I did not even taste it. I tasted it. I got nothing from that. No bacon. Today's Halloween recommendation is an old favorite. At least an old favorite to me. <laughs> yeah. Q and I had the misfortune of seeing the remake of Poltergeist this year. And I hope those of you that saw that and have not seen the original. You didn't like the, the remake? He knows I hated it. Did you enjoy the remake? It was alright. It sucked. It was horrible. But for those of you that did watch that abortion, hopefully it doesn't, you know, scare you off from watching the original. If you haven't seen this, give it a try. You can see in this movie, with this movie you can see how sometimes practical effects will beat out digital effects. That was the difference, among many other things, between these two movies. The effects in the new movie, it just looked like a video game. It was pretty bad. These, you actually feel like you're seeing something you shouldn't in places. When she falls into the swimming pool full of uh, skeletons, way scarier than anything in the other movie. It was pretty cool, though, when the 
little kid went to like the other side or whatever. Into the tunnel? Yeah, that was pretty cool. That was like the only part of the movie the special effects paid off in. I think sometimes people get too happy with the digital effects in, in places where they could use a practical effect that would look realer. They just want to do it digitally. Yeah. Digitally? There we go. I don't know if that's a cost-cutting measure or not. I don't know which is cheaper. I would think that digital would still be more expensive, but I could be wrong. So yeah, recommendation. Go see the original. If For nothing else, the little girl actress in this movie, Heather O'Rourke, who's now dead, God rest her soul, did a fine job in this movie. The Curse of Poltergeist. It's a thing. Look it up. I'll look it up. He won't look it up. Going with one shout out again today. Today's shout out goes to Joshua Thibault. That's T H E B E A U. I'm assuming it's like French or Cajun. Thibault. Thibault. Or it could just be Joshua the Bow. I don't know, Joshua. Let us know. I'm sure one of those was it. Right now, there is nothing to review in the world of fast food. Uh, I think. Like, here's the, the height of what's going on. Burger King has the Texas Whopper. You know what that is? No, what's that? What's a Texas Whopper? It's a Whopper with mustard on it and jalapenos. That's all they change. They put mustard instead of mayonnaise and jalapenos. Oh, wow. Now, we could review that, but, I mean, does anybody really need to see us just review a Whopper with mustard on it? We're going to keep doing weird stuff like cookies and whatnot, but when something comes out in fast food that's worth watching or worth doing, we'll do it. We're kicking around the idea of maybe moving up to a higher level of food, to like a um, a Chili's, Applebee's type thing instead oh, of fast food. Now, when yeah. I say move up, I didn't mean move up. I meant move up a little. <laughs> we might be exploring that next week just to just to do something new until uh, fast food gets its head out of its ass. Yeah. Yeah. So we just wanted to give you a heads up. If there's something you guys want to see us do on this channel in the near future, put it in the comments below. Odds are real good. Uh, we'll take your suggestion because there's just nothing out there to review right now. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can find us on all social media. Just search Mr. Happy 0121 on each platform. Stay vigilant. Watch out for the reptilians and don't give YouTubers your money.